Good morning, it's Saturday. This is Joey from the Gym Junkies, and I'm really excited today. The reason why is I'm actually heading over to Paul Anthony, AKA Paul Mall, and uh, he's one of the other Gym Junkies. We're finally gonna be able to get a fucking massive workout today and uh, actually videotape it because his gym doesn't allow us to have the camera in there. So I'm excited because not only are we gonna be able to have uh, Paul involved today, but we're gonna be able to cover some really cool topics that he's smart enough to be able to cover without having to use bro science. And uh, secondly, we're also gonna get amazing footage, so I'm really excited. So I uh, hope you guys clue in a little bit later. Uh, I'll be able to edit it tonight, and hopefully we have it up for tomorrow. So uh, have a great workout. If any of you guys are getting in there, for me and Paul, it's gonna be chest motherfucking day! Talking about what we're gonna be doing, uh, hitting up chest today. Man, you had some pretty good form right there. Also, um, started off with uh, incline dumbbell pressing. We went for uh, the five sets of five, which really increases the power and um, really exhausts you, man. The first, the incline, the first set was was pretty tough. Yeah, I didn't expect it to have such a good pump coming off of just five reps. That was my first time doing that. But you had a really good degree of that bar. I mean, the the chair had a really good angle on it. This is uh, our doing the bicep curls. You know, anytime, like I said, this whole week we're doing like shock therapy to our biceps. We're really trying to increase the muscle nuclei and then test out this theory. Every day we're in the gym, we're throwing in a set of this. Um, not really to failure, but really just focus on like the contraction and like the pump. That's the best part of it. This was cool. This was like, this is our decline right here. And he was kind of going for a PR. Uh, I think he got really three good strong reps in this one. Yeah, I was a little exhausted after doing uh, really heavy on the dumbbells and five sets of five, so... Yeah, we don't really show them all the other... <laughs> yeah, there was like five other sets prior to going up to this, so it's like, yeah, you're pretty gassed out by the... My, I was worried, my right arm was already starting shaking. This is, I don't really do a whole lot of decline. I, I was worried. I was so nervous about coming down. I guess when I look at it, it wasn't much to worry about. My right elbow does look straight, so... Just get a better pump on decline for sure. I don't know, flat bench is my shoulders from training for years of doing uh, different types of sports. Not so much lifting or just Torah. We can't really do that uh, flat bench too much. But. I don't know. I, can, I think we just get focused on our number. That's the one thing about flat bench. It's like a good workout. Yeah. So much concentrate on trying to hit like a certain weight, a certain number. It's not really focused on the film. So what the hell did you call this exercise, dude? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't even know what the name is, but uh, this exercise came from my buddy AJ. He showed it to me a few weeks ago. And, but one of the things, that, although it looks kind of funny, and you can only do it with two people, the contraction you have on this is absolutely insane. Uh, by squeezing on the ball, you'll notice that you're, you're really focusing on your upper pectorals, which is one of those spots I think everyone can always use help at. Oh yeah. Um, adds that thickness all around the top to make that like, iron chest uh, feel. Not Although that. I look like I'm uh, crapping my pants, but <laughs> <laughs> I was really going for it, man. Yeah, Paul motivated. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the first time I, I did an exercise um, like this. It's pretty interesting. Definitely uh, more of a burn, more of a, a finisher type of movement. Yeah, you were really, you got really vascular in it, so that was good. Like blood flow. Yeah. To get that blood in the muscle. <laughs> it got, got to make it fucking thick. It's got to be <laughs> chunky. <laughs> Get it chunky, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is what's funny about this one is I'm trying not to make you laugh right here. So you look down. I'm, like, I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. Give this guy his moment. But yeah, dude, you can really start seeing the shoulders. Uh, they're just allowing that blood, man. Yeah, that fucking vein. It looks like a river, <laughs> like a Nile River going up there. These dips are really wide, man. You feel more on the chest, huh? <laughs> it did feel more on the chest, but. Uh, and I've been working on these a lot, trying to get. I went from being a fat guy who could only do like three to like getting to eight. Yeah, you did like five hundred right there. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't go for a little too much. Maybe it's time to add the weight belt. <laughs> oh man, these are cool. I've never done these before. This was like a leaning forward. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say it's an incline because it's kind of like an invert, but it was cool because yeah, you you get to hit that muscle and do this dragging feeling. So even at the top of your contraction, it was like. Get a yeah, knot up there. fill it the whole way. I really love this exercise for finishing off on the uh, biceps. Really get a um, tension the whole way, you know, up and down with the cables. That was cool. Uh, 
helps really. This is really. I mean, I think this is what I would consider more of a peaking exercise, like a concentration kind of exercise. Absolutely, absolutely. And then you know, for hypertrophy, for muscle growth, that time under tension is real important. So you have a uh, time under tension is the whole entire movement on this thing. I don't know if it's maybe we're stepping back about twenty feet, but I look a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, maybe it's because your color. I'm telling you, <laughs> shadows, man. So after Paul. Yeah. And I kind of split up. He went. Uh, he had done a lot of triceps oh, no, before. Reverse. I went over the tricep bar. And this is one of those things where I do where I add the most amount of weight and kind of do like a drop set. So this is more of like a PR kind of thing for me. I, uh, I've come up to 95 pounds before doing these tricep push downs, reverse tricep, but uh, I never started off. So this is uh, me maxing out, and then uh, I ever go to failure, then I drop the weight 10 pounds. Go to failure, drop the weight 10 pounds. I didn't think it was necessary to start one. Yeah. Like nine fucking sets of doing the same tricep. But I do flip it around and go from uh, reverse to front. And really just get those both those heads out of the inner just to fucking swell up and, and go out, tap out. They were they were yelling at me. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> so that's the first time um, I've ever done a bicep workout with a uh... chest. Oh no no no, with only cables. We didn't do any free weights. Yeah. Or any um any bars or anything like that. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't notice that until, actually, I, did, I should say, I didn't notice that until we started editing. But it was nice, because even like in a fly, you know, you do use a little bit of bicep. Oh, yeah. So it was nice to kind of finish off with it. So I had never really, I'd never done bicep with chest, but uh, us, you know, doing the shock therapy and then seeing how it helped, because you can't really cheat when your fucking biceps are done. No. Especially at squeezing together. Mm. And I always like doing opposite muscles like that because the, uh, Usually, if I do biceps with back, which is pretty traditional, they just get way too wiped out. <laughs> so we finished uh, a chest, triceps, and biceps. It's pretty fucking, um, pretty intense, but it, it, it flew by pretty fast. Really fast. The hour and a half went by like yeah. 15 minutes. It seemed like because it makes a big difference when you have someone to work out with for sure. Yeah, especially if you're like you're pushing the the sets, like you're kind of. Kind of pushing each other to go for the next one, go to the next one. It cuts that rest time down. That's one of the things that's like hard when you're doing a partner. Sometimes one guy likes to rest for like a minute, minute and a half, and that kind of fucks you up because you're like, what the fuck, dude, I kind of got a good pump. So that's the cool thing. <laughs> when you do have a good rhythm with the training partner, it's nice when your rest times are the same and you both are aiming for the same goals. On a side note, I turned off the car so the fucking. It's hot it's as fuck. Hot as fuck. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing the sauna after the after know, that workout, but. Doing a fucking sauna in the Jeep. But uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we're two of the members of the Gym Junkies. This is Paul. I'm Joey. What's happening? Um, if you're today, we're probably going to go, uh, well, we're going to go over to Chipotle and go fucking kill it up. So I'm probably going to digest about another 1,300 calories. I'm going to have to ask for that double meat, double meat. <laughs> if you were to do double meat, what do you do? You ever do the barbacoa? Barbacoa. You did barbacoa? No doubt. I always feel like that's a little oily for me. But maybe it's because I'm trying to get thin thin. You're already thin thin. This guy over here has got like Something striations like going down his fucking neck. He's got a fucking vein. He had a vein that was like, I think I got on the tape where it was like going from his wrist, went up, said what's up to his chest. And the chest was like, hey, there's a fucking party of us. There's like eight of us here. And they're like, all right, we're going to go fucking streamline to his fucking neck. And I'm over here like staring at that one vein on my bicep. But. It's cool. Baby steps, man. Baby, Baby steps. steps, man. So uh, we're the Gym Junkies. If you get opportunity, press the little subscribe button. It's going to be right here, right next to this fucking nipple. <laughs> Peace them out. Peace.